Is it possible that there exists a 3,000-year-old mystery that lies behind so many of the financial disasters and marketplace collapses that we have seen, which have led to the fall of nations? Could this phenomenon already be affecting and shaping and altering our lives and the lives of virtually everyone that we know? From New Jersey, best-selling author and Messianic rabbi Jonathan Kahn explains the significance of the Shemitah, a recurring Sabbath year prescribed by the Torah in the Old Testament. And he does it in this book called The Mystery of the Shemitah. Now, let me just be honest with you. I wasn't familiar with this topic at all until this book came across my desk and some other Christian leaders I know started telling me about it. And then I found out it, 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 that it was in 2015 uh, one of the best-selling Christian books of the year, award-winning book. I, 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 I didn't know the subject, but I was intrigued, and I think you will be intrigued too. I didn't know the Shemitah was a Sabbath year or, or what the significance of all of that might be and how it would tie into financial um, context of culture and nations. We're very excited here at 100 Huntley Street to offer you something that explains about many of the signs and historicities of events, uh, a connection between the past, the present, and potentially the future. There's a prophetic element here. With the help of Rabbi Khan, we'll learn more about some of the signs we find in God's Word. The rabbi joins us now. Delighted to have Rabbi Khan with us. Rabbi, tell us, how does the, the Shemitah transform from a sign of blessing to a sign of judgment? Now, the Shemitah was meant to be a blessing for Israel. But when Israel turned away from God, the blessing of the Shemitah turns from a blessing to a sign of judgment on a nation that has once known God, but has broken its covenant and has turned against him. And it comes back at them, at Israel, not as a blessing of, the, uh, of their economic, financial realms of sustenance, but as a, as a curse or as a judgment. And so it all comes to a head in the year 586 BC when Israel, the people are removed from the land and the land is devastated for 70 years, basically, with no temple. It rests. And the Bible says that the land rested for 70 years for the 70 Sabbaths or Sabbath years or Shemitahs that it didn't rest for all, for this, for all that time. So it rests in judgment. So the Shemitah not being observed, being broken, comes back by force as a sign of judgment. It strikes the nation's sustenance, its blessings, its security, its everything. And you know, the Shemitah specifically first touches the economic realm and then the financial realm. So those are realms that would also be touched. And literally in the case of ancient Israel, it wiped the, wiped the nation away. And the thing is that the Shemitah is a warning, can become a warning in such a case of a nation that has forgotten God and that all its blessings come from God. And it do doesn't just affect the financial realm, but as you can see by 586 BC, it's affecting every realm. It's affecting the entire nation's existence. It's, it's, it's part of the picture is the rise of Babylon. So even that's part of the part of the timing. And then the fall of Babylon and the rise of Persia is all part of this 70 year period, which are the 70 Shemitahs. So the question is, could this still be in effect? Or at times, could God use this template of the Shemitah? And at times, could it be a sign, a warning of judgment concerning a nation in danger of judgment? Thank you, Rabbi. Intrigued? I know I am. We'd love for you to get a copy of this. It's called The Mystery of the Shemitah. Uh, the subtitle, The 3,000-Year-Old Mystery That Holds the Secret of America's and the World's Future your future too. Please, would you call us or go online and get the mystery of the Shemitah?